Sinbad has been many things to many people, an acclaimed comedian, the security detail to the first kid of these glorious United States, the guy who lost Star Search to the voice of the Crypt Keeper. But a few years ago, Sinbad became something else that was a lot less fun, bankrupt. Yes, the one-time superstar filed for bankruptcy in 2009. And when that was dismissed due to a clerical error, he filed again in 2013. At the time, he told the court that he was a whopping $11 million in debt. So how did he get in such trouble? Well, according to News 1, roughly $8 million of the comedian's debt came in the form of back taxes. The rest of it, though, apparently boils down to old-fashioned American optimism. Speaking to the Huffington Post on the subject of his bankruptcy cases in 2013, Simbad described working in the entertainment industry in terms that any gig employee with a credit card can understand. I spent money and I kept thinking, I get one more movie and I'll wipe these bills out. But that movie never came. So you owe a million dollars. I can pay that. Okay, fines, fees, now you owe two and a half million. But I didn't do nothing. Now you owe four million. He went on to explain that this happened despite the fact that unlike, say, Nicolas Cage, he wasn't blowing his fortune on extravagant purchases like haunted mansions or dinosaur skeletons. And his court filings seemed to bear this out, as at the time, he only listed $131,000 in personal assets. I didn't buy Bentley, I didn't live large. I believed in me, I invested in me, and I invested in a lot of other people. I would not change it, I would not go back. Another factor in his financial woes was declining health. The older you get, the bigger the medical bills get. And Sinbad, now 63, has had his fair share of top-shelf medical problems over the years. In the 1970s, the 6'5 comic had planned to play professional hoops and even earned a basketball scholarship to the University of Denver. But a knee injury sidelined the aspiring athlete. Joint damage, as you're probably aware, is the student loans officer of the medical world. It always catches up with you in the end. By the late 2000s, a large frame and an active lifestyle had finally taken their toll. In August of 2010, the comedian revealed in a Twitter post that he'd undergone the second of two knee replacement surgeries, the first of which he'd discussed at some length in his special from earlier that year, Where You Been? Then, in November of 2015, UPI reported that Sinbad was recovering from spinal fusion surgery, a complicated procedure in which two or more vertebrae are welded together. The process reportedly lasted 10 hours. He later tweeted, Thank everyone for their prayers. I shall be back up soon. This surgery was no joke. You haven't changed a bit oh. from how oh, you look good. Oh, we've, I've changed. We've Check. grown up watching you. <laughs> I got more metal in my body. I can't go through <laughs> any kind of detectors. Besides the cost of those medical bills, the physical woes also certainly affected his ability to work, further lowering his income. Luckily, it seems as though the worst of it is now in the past for Sinbad. In 2013 and 2014, he had a recurring voice role on cult favorite cartoon show Steven Universe playing Mr. Smiley, the Beach City Funland mainstay, and in a mega twist, ex comedian. Then in 2017, he showed up on the Disney Junior animated series The Lion Guard as Uroho the Baboon, a part that lasted two episodes. In 2018, he returned to Fox, the network that aired the single season of The Sinbad Show in 1993, for the live action sitcom Rel, starring Lil Rel Howery. The show made it 12 episodes before being cancelled in April of 2019. And in 2020, he was out on the road, maintaining a tour schedule that would make any comedian jealous, pandemic or no pandemic. One thing he probably won't be doing anytime soon, though, is working for Donald Trump. Back in 2010, he was fired by the Donald after just two episodes on The Celebrity Apprentice. He told Oprah in 2013 that he wishes he hadn't done the show. And if he could go back, he would tell Trump to fire his barber instead. I'm sorry. I ain't feeling you, man. You're fired. I fire you, Donald Trump. Still, it seems Sinbad has had the last laugh, because despite all his financial problems, celebrity net worth estimates the value of his personal wealth now at roughly $4 million. Way to go, Sinbad. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.